What's up, Booty Brigade? You got Danita with BootyBands.com. Excited to bring you another whiteboard topic about how to look and feel your best, to have long-term results to really help you cut fat, keep your curves, and keep your results. And I wanna ask you, do you think it's better and uh, a lot more efficient to get to your goals by being 75% in progress or 100% in perfection? And if you have the answer to that, go ahead and comment down below. I wanna bring up a special girl. She is a Booty Bands member, her name is Paris. So what she did is two years ago, her clothes were fitting a little bit tighter. She could see that the scale was going up and her family's making some comments about her weight. So she's like, all right, I need to start this healthy new lifestyle. So where does she go? She just looks everywhere she possibly can. She gets as much information as she possibly can. And she's like, all right, I've got enough information. I'm gonna do it. Now what she did is she really overloaded herself, right? She's like, I wanna be absolutely perfect and I wanna, I wanna do this. Well, the overwhelm came. So that could be, that could be one thing that obviously comes with trying to be perfect is this high low start stop mentality that's where a lot of people when they're in the perfectionist mentality I hear them say I started I started on the wagon and then I fell off the wagon um, I was on my routine and then I fell off my routine those are kind of typically the things that they say now if you are saying that yourself check in with yourself maybe you might be into this perfectionist mentality um, so we know that this can lead into a self-sabotage loop where essentially what happens is there's going to be some sort of trigger and for Paris what that was for her is every time that she thought you can't outwork a bad diet so the second that she ended up having a bad meal then she ended up thinking to herself, well, I can't work out and I can't eat healthy. Now I've ruined it. Like that, that phrase to her is what's really uh, carried her down the self-sabotage loop. So then when she felt I'm a failure and it's not for me and everybody else can do this, but I'm just meant to be fat, then it led to her emotional eating where she just ate junk food, right? And so usually you'll find that if you are an emotional eater, it's gonna be coming from some sort of void. And so I highly recommend if you haven't joined it yet, um, click the link down below. Join the Booty Bands and Barbells Mindset Master Class. A phenomenal class is able to show you what your self-sabotage loop is. Allow yourself to look back at it, have the awareness of it, because the first step to change is going to be the awareness of it. If it is in your subconscious, if you have no idea that it's there, you might be spinning in this self-sabotage self loop for like 20 plus years, and we do not want that. So we end up seeing this loop that happens because of this perfectionist mentality, right? And the other thing that can happen is it can um, not fit for your particular season. So let's say you're getting married, let's say you're having kids, let's say like there's something that's going on in your life and trying to be 100% perfect, like trying to do a bikini competition, like being so overwhelmed in your life or being in a certain season in your life can be absolutely really devastating, right? And it just feels like it can't work. So, so many different levels here that I, I truly feel that perfectionists, when we try to think that way, we end up leading to a lot of struggle and a lot of failure. Okay, so this one other one is maybe 75 progress, maybe it's 80% progression, whatever it is there, whatever your level, everyone's kind of a little bit different here as far as what that percentage is. So that can be flexible. I do believe that as just as many people there are in the world, there are as much successful ways that we can do stuff. There's not just one way to pigeonhole people in. So the first thing about being in progression is that we know that these small changes can be doable. And I think that right there leads into the next one, which will put you on a routine and you can be consistent. Wait a minute. So you can be consistent, and if you're consistent with small changes that's doable, and you're in progression, don't you think we're getting somewhere now? Yes, all right. So then the feelings of success are gonna come because now you're in this consistency, this routine, these small steps. When you accomplish a task on your to-do list, did you know that you actually get a serotonin, like a dopamine little rush when you cross that off? And so boosting that up by those small changes, that's gonna be a great feeling of success. Um, next is enjoying your life still. Something that Paris learned is by, instead of going into perfection, she learned the progress, was that she can still go out to eat. She can still have social events, social gatherings, and she doesn't have to be perfect. She doesn't have to eat what other people are eating. She doesn't have, she can go her own way. She can modify her plate. She can do little small changes to um, work with her percentages. Now something about this too was learn, she learned about how to really balance her percentages. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to click somewhere around here. I'll post it for you so that you learn how to balance your plate correctly. And remember, it's all about progress. 
And the other one was that um, she learned that it just fits her season. It, it, for this, for this, it is so doable for her. And a, a one, one example here about what she was doing is she thought that she was being perfect by having a glass of juice every single day. So she was having seven cups of juice in a week. And um, we obviously know that's full of carbs and sugar and that spikes your blood sugar. And obviously I did a, I did a lesson on that. So if make sure to click right here somewhere about the uh, blood sugar video that I did. Instead of having seven glasses of juice a week, focus on having maybe cutting those in just half of a cup of juice and focusing on really building up your vegetables and your protein, right? Because we know of all these videos I do is the protein is going to be fueling the muscle, the muscle speeding the metabolism, therefore we're working smarter, not harder. So that tiny little change has been so amazing. And what it is it? It's progression. I'm not saying completely cut fruit juice out of your day, right? I'm saying let's progress, find out what works for you. We're going to figure out and kind of wor work your way with it. And it's just been so awesome to see one week where she was perfectionist mindset and the next week where she's in progression mindset, it's day and night different. And it's so amazing to now see where she's at and her, her excitement for this. So my question to you, if you've been struggling and it's been really tough, check in with yourself right now and maybe make a list about what one of the best things I ever do is just journal write and write a list of all the things that you have this perfectionist mindset. Remember that if you have a bad meal, your body doesn't reflect on a bad meal. It more reflects on what the overall week was. If you had a great week and maybe one bad meal, do you think your body is really going to be messed up after that? No. So check in with yourself. Really look at the bigger picture. Pull yourself out a little bit more. Letting go of the perfectionist mentality, these overwhelming of like all of what the industry is bringing in. You should do this. You shouldn't do that. The myth busters here, there, da, 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 da. It can get really overwhelming, right? So if you like these videos, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I got more coming out for you so that way I can help you into help looking and feeling your best. Because you know what? The trophy is in your hands. That is the goal. To be able to sit with their trophy in your hands and say, I did it. Because you can. And you absolutely will. So lots of love. Thanks for joining me today. You guys have an amazing rest of your day. And see you in the Booty Bands and Barbells app where you can get your 10 to 15 minute workouts where you can cut fat and keep your curves.